question? Just a uh, question. This is the part where you I don't know. I don't think that they want. You see, this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let, let me try. Okay. If someone asks a question. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, one question for What me. made you come here to London? Uh, we're doing a comedy conference tomorrow. Uh, it's an international comedy conference. So, uh, a lot of comedians and uh, people from the industry are coming here. And uh, they invited us uh, to represent Israel, fortunately for you. And, uh, ah, uh, wonderful! Yes. We want to tell you thank you very much for coming. And we love you. This is me, this is Yochai, this is Yochai, this is me, this is Tarablus, this is Tarablus, this is me, the same, this is my socks, the same socks, the same socks. Thank you very much, Dim, it's very exciting, I came uh, all the way from Israel, I'm uh, representing my country, it's the first time I'm going to go to a comedy conference, it's a uh, a lot of you here are from the industry, so I would say I'm a little bit uh, excited. I'm going to try some new stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how long you live in uh, England, sir? Almost my life. And you're, you're Jewish? Yeah. Okay, uh, you feel that you feel safe? I feel I'm safe, yeah. That's the question that I ask. <laughs> English people, they, sometimes they, it looks like they ask me the question. <laughs> Regular people, they know what they know, and they know what they don't know. Israelis, they don't know what they don't know, and they don't know that they don't know things. And they don't care. Somebody, it's, you feel healthy since you start? I don't. I start feeling and I become sick. Flu, ear infection, eye infection, fingers like my grandma. Unbelievable. <laughs> and swimming, it's boring. Nothing happened. You try to swim, you know hours like this. Nothing happened. I now understand why fish don't talk. There's nothing to say. Yeah, that's why we invent so many things. Ways, we're inventing ways because Moses was lost his way in the, the way to Israel 40 years. Never again. Okay. You've performed the festival, haven't you? Yes. How did you get on? Let's say, How successful were you? Very not successful. <laughs> Very not. Okay? So in Israel, when we go to visit family, we need to take food, food, a lot of food, you know? So I hate because I'm, I, need to, I need to drive my parents, my mom, or everyone needs to put the pot, to put the pot between his legs. Everybody's gonna put the pot, you got to put the pot. You've got a mom under the driver, so put the Pyrex, you know Pyrex? <laughs> it's a glass, heavy glass, that I don't know why you need proof, bullet, bulletproof? Bulletproof? Bu bulletproof, bulletproof. <laughs> what is bulletproof? Somebody ever tried to assess on a quiche? What's going on? <laughs> Comedy store. One day, we believe that we're gonna work here, guys. As a bartender, all the waiter, all the cleaning ladies. And English. Yes, sir. So you want to drink something? Maybe Why not? Water. What? You see? Look at you. We all connected. I'm sure that we have uh, all the religion, all the kinds, the Muslims. We have. No, good. Uh, <laughs> Guys. They had a 
show in Paris in a comedy club that was owned by an Arab and the comedians before me and after me were Muslim. I'm in a basement owned by an Arab, okay, and the Muslim audiences, Muslim comedians here and there, and I'm an Israeli. So I wish success to both sides. Then let's take it from there. And then and once I clear the air and people laugh, I can do whatever I want because you cannot be pissed off at someone who makes you laugh. How long have you been dating? This is our first day. This is our first day! Ah. 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 Oh, and you come to do a stand-up show in the front of the most, you know, sensitive people on the planet, these ladies, <laughs> on the first day in the front row. And you didn't even pay for a ticket. Very nice of you. <laughs> We start talking about sex, and I said, I said, I love to go down on ladies. And she said, Excuse me, too much information. So, no, it's good information. <laughs> if I'm gonna date a girl and she's gonna tell me I like to suck dick, I'm like, I wanna hear more. <laughs> Let me call my buddy. Only <laughs> thing that I can tell you that you need to practice, man. You need to practice and you need to improve yourself every night. Every night you meet people that want to improve themselves. And that's the beauty about this profession, that everybody wants to improve himself. And right now you can improve yourself into the, the pole almost. And that's very important, man. You need to improve yourself. <laughs> what do you study? Musical theater! Okay, you have to go into finance, you know that. Ah, <laughs> oh, you finance, okay. <laughs> Us Jews, we smell money. <laughs> The tube is underground. In the, in the States they call it subway, here it's underground. In Israel we call it fantasy. You know that you're doing a good job if after she came your eyebrows wet, you know? <laughs> yes. And you, you have water in your ear like after the book. <laughs> She's done, you need to be outside for the sun. Yes, you need to chew the pussy. Uh, thank you Yay! for enjoying our show. Thank you very much, thank guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, very very thank you, thank you for the free ticket. Yeah. And we want to bring you guys to Israel. To we want to bring ourselves. We're going to collaborate. 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 You certainly got it. One, yeah. This is one tiny vowel. Yeah. His English surprises himself. <laughs> you okay, go ahead. Surprise from himself. <laughs> the beginning in the audience is not Israeli. And it's not Jews. No, it's regular I, I'm people. Asking and I think like you, what, what? And I did a few mistakes myself. This is the reason we came to do these shows before we do the showcase. Yossi read the, the review about our show and it was a great review and Shachar don't want to know the review. Don't, don't make your soul dirty. It's all dust and dirt. All the criticism, all the thoughts of other people, it's all dirt in your soul. Even the good thoughts? Even the, the good, that's the worst. Because you became yes, dependent on them. Yes, you start to believe. To in the, what they're saying. The thoughts of an asshole, okay? And 17 years you work like a douchebag and you don't... 18. Of course, all the way from Israel. Uh, he needs a very little introduction from me. He's called Shah. <clears throat> Good evening. <clears throat> Shah Hassan, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome him to the stage. Yeah. And we had a show in Edinburgh. Guys from Edinburgh here, guys? No? Yes? You from Edinburgh? It's a beautiful place, you know? By the way, what's going on with the, with the seagull? They are very fat, you know? I imagine seagull flying and catching fish from the ocean. In Edinburgh, the, fish, the seagull, they just walk on the street, you know? And they, go, they eat pizza from Tony Macaroni. What's going on? I was like, I was shocked. When you have a bad show, a hard show, in English, it even becomes harder because the language is not for your side. You know what I mean? It's on your side. It's not on your side. Looking for a girlfriend that she's gonna be atheist too. You know, when you're atheist, you want an atheist partner. So I found her, and she was atheist, and we got along. Everything was okay, but she was Christian atheist. What <laughs> <laughs> a Jew atheist! You know what I'm saying? On stage tonight, I felt so lonely. It feels so good because that's how you feel when you start to do stand-up. You're lonely on stage until people love you, until the comedy love you, until you know what you've got to say and then you like you have friends, your jokes. When you know that boys are down when you visit the emergency room because I have three boys, I go to the emergency room almost like two weeks because my sons are idiots and that's what, uh, you know why. And you see 
the difference there also. You see the mother with her girl, it's almost like she didn't feel very well, and when her fever went up, we decided to come to be on the safe side. And it's a small little girl, so, mm, knitting. <laughs> and then you see the father with his boy. It's like uh, Jonathan was in the petting zoo today, <laughs> and he had butted a donkey. <laughs> and she's like, why did he head butt a donkey? Because I dealt him not to, okay? <laughs> When, when, when you do comedy in Hebrew, you have the barrier of laughter. When you do comedy in English, you have the barrier of laughter and the language. There has never been a better time for comedians. He told me, you don't look Jewish, okay? I will tell you who told me this. First of all, how a Jew supposed to look like? I need to hold the globe and to say, who runs the world, Jew? Who runs this motherfucker? Who runs this motherfucker? <laughs> you know singer? And today, I felt Nice. I think comedy it's like a jellyfish. Why? Because it's it could be nice and uh, and soft and wet. Yes. But sometimes it burns you. Burns. And you need someone to pee on your leg after a show. Where are you from, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> My English is so bad, you know, only Scottish people understand it. <laughs> Seven, you gave me the actual dress. It's a postcode. I don't even know English, man. What are you doing? I need to think about this show. You know, I need to think. You need to think about the show. It's so nice when you do stand up and the show is not good and it starts to be even worse from second to second. Oh my god. I've been doing stand up for 18 years. I'm good. But in English, it's hard. I have guns without bullets. You see? <laughs> That's what I love. I love the cricket. That's why I do stand up. I love the silence after a joke because that's how I feel alive. I come, I'm alive. Look at me. I'm alive. There's people here from the industry and I'm alive, man. I'm alive, guys. 18 years. I stand on stage and tell to stand up. Give me the best box that you can give. Come on. That's what I'm having right now. You know, I'm like a drunk boxer. I'm gonna give you a joke, you know? <laughs> and I will not know if you feel messy for me or not because you're from the industry. You're like, oh my God, you really? Oh my God, oh my God. When you feel that you lose them, you even lose them more <laughs> when you don't know the language, you know? Because you lose them, but you don't know how to bring them back, you know? Because you don't have the words. The second you think I have nothing to lose more than that, you lose more. Yes. Because you think, ah, I'm gonna do my thing, I have nothing to lose. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Thank you. You know, what's, you know what's good about this show? That next time that these people are gonna see us, they wouldn't have expectation, <laughs> if you know, what? to I set think, their bar lower. I, let me tell you what you did this week. We flew to London, we performed three times in English, in the capital of comedy in the world. From Tel Aviv second language. to London, second language. in a second language, thank you very much. It's something that will be probably be documented right now. Right now, <laughs> is one of the boldest, dumbest lack of self-awareness. And we had fun. Shouldn't have to get so close to you. Didn't have to go so far. You see, my mind is trouble. Dogs of fear. You can always come around. You can never come near. How dare you talk about love? Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, you'll no, no, no. I ain't got the time. And if my daddy thinks I'm fine, they try to make me go to rehab. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day.